uh, if you notice that this one is in standard form. So I can read off the center. So what's the center? Negative, Negative three, three, positive two. And what's under the x is 25. So a is the square root of 25, which is five. So that says I'm going to go back and forth five units from center. Uh, 36 is under the y, so I'm going to have the square root of 36, which is 6. So I'm going to go up and down. And if you notice, 6 is bigger than 5, so that's my movement. So that means if what's under the y is bigger, it's going to be elongated along the uh, parallel to the y-axis. So now all I need is the center. Now this is where I have to be very careful, and I've got to, that's why I have to be careful on your exam as well. What you notice is these hash marks are in groups of two. And this is because of the fact that we're moving up and down six and back and forth five. So to put it in ones becomes more difficult. So now I have to be careful. So th negative three, positive two. So negative three is right here and then positive two. So that was easy. Now, I'm going to have to count, instead of being this box being one, that box is two. So a half a box is one. So I need five units left and right. So uh, this is in the half mark. So this is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then six up and down. So that's easy enough. Two, four, six. And two, four, six. Even numbers are nice. And I was on the line there. And then all we need to do. is connect the dots and there it is. Now as I said if I was going to go after the uh, x and y intercepts uh, this is what you would end up having to do. We'll just do one of them. So if the x intercept then y would be 0. So what you would have would be x plus 3 squared over 25 plus 0 minus 2 squared over 36 equals 1. Or x plus 3 squared over 25 plus negative 2 squared is 4 over 36 equals 1. Or that x plus 3 squared over 25 plus 1 over 9 equals 1. subtract one ninth from both sides, I would get that x plus 3 squared over 25 equals 8 ninths. Now since this is a square, I could take the square root of both sides at this point, or I could multiply by 25, and I don't think I want to do that. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides. Don't forget the plus or minus. So that x plus 3 over 5 equals plus or minus the square root of 8 over 3. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by 5. So that x plus 3 equals plus or minus 5 square roots of 8 divided by 3. Or x equals minus 3 plus or minus 5 square roots of 8 over 3. Do you know now why we don't find the x and y intercepts of these things? It's kind of like, 
who cares? They'll need them. That will be on the test, right? Oh, yeah, I'll put three of them on there for you, just, for, just with your name on it. <laughs> Her test will have three. Actually, maybe okay, she'll yeah. have 30 and then uh, or maybe 29, and the rest of you guys will have your own. <laughs> <laughs>